when it's not a game, if somebody is rich, that means Allah loves him. That is not a game. Allah did not walk with Aum. And he gave him so much of the dunya. Allah did not love Harun. And Harun, he was so rich and so wealthy that he did how they measured his richness by how many pieces his treasures had, so much so that if we take several, like hundreds of men, hundreds of men carrying only the peace to his treasures. That's how rich he was. Imagine hundreds of men to carry just the keys to his, uh, you know, his, uh, his mansion where he's storing his treasures. He was extremely rich. Yet Allah did love him. He gave him to the end. Allah did love him. He can never put that as a game. He cannot measure. If somebody is rich, he's doing well. That means he's lucky. That means Allah loves him. Or her. Yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gave to the to Ismail al Aslan. He gave to the to Abu Bakr. He gave to the to Abu Rahman al He was rich. Allah gave them dunya and He gave them peace. So it means here that Allah gives it to whom He loves and whom He does not love. But the thing, the plan, the thing, Allah gives it to only those whom He loves. And then comes the different reality. And that's the, the topic of our subject today. That different truth. وَجَاءَتْ فَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ And the super of death has come with the truth. Al-Haq. Allah goes with Al-Haq. Why Al-Haq? Because Al-Haq is that I and you and all of us will have to die one day and will have to stand before Allah. This is Al-Haq. This is the truth. You cannot hide. You can run all you want, but you cannot hide. From the truth, which is a lot. Even a full of love has tasted from this cup called death. When I can describe the final moments of the Prophet, I just love to say that, Mata a full of love, he made the suffering with the honey. Imagine the Prophet, he could have died in the battlefield. He could have died, you know, a thing in Jihad, yet one of the ulama, he said that the Prophet Muhammad died as Jaheed, but he died. I hope the sister is on this. He died reclining and putting his head on the chest of his wife, Africa. But you know the thing, the last thing he ate or he tasted? The last thing Prophet Muhammad tasted was the saliva of Africa. When I was a Abu Bakr, he came in with the miswat in, in his mouth, and the prophet saw him, and he saw him, and he couldn't talk. And then the eyes of the other one, he wanted his wife. He wanted his wife, he nodded, he couldn't talk to him. He took his miswat and he stopped and it with her own mouth and her own saliva. He stopped and ate it and he gave it to the prophet. And the prophet said, The last thing he ate or he tasted was the saliva of his wife. And the last thing he did when he died, he was his head was put on the chest. And what was he saying? Oh, uh, I got to say, I think. If the prophet can come to say, it is how about you? If the prophet can come to comfort the prophet, how about you? He used to say, oh, I'm lost. If they did not do that, I'm lost. I feel quite the pain when you just take your pain. The prophet says, I feel twice your pain. If you feel the pain of headache, I feel twice the pain because of the prophet. Yes, we face this problem. We all sometimes wish as human beings, you know, we wish to have this beautiful death in our, you know, with our families around in us, in our homes. But realistically, do you know, do I know, do we know how you and I will, will, will die? Nobody knows. You wish to have this beautiful death. 
surrounded by your family in your bed. But have you ever seen somebody die? Do you know that how it goes when what goes on? Ah, in the name of Jesus, that soul, the death comes in. You know, have you ever seen somebody like the feet become so cold, so blue, and then this comes and comes and goes up and goes up. The man cannot move his head. He cannot move his head. He becomes so cold. Your father, so cold that blue and blue colors, except for the other people, Allah has made his father go in the city. But the heart is trembling. The family is there. Your wife is there, your husband is there, your kids are there, the doctors may be there. Maybe you know you're in the hospital, the doctor, the heart surgeon is there, the brain, the food. everybody is there. They want to help, but they cannot help because Allah wants something else. It is the end of your journey. It is the end. Okay. It's over. You may turn to your son and say, he help me. You may turn to your daughter and say, help me, help me. You may turn to your wife, help me, help me. I've done so much, everything you say, and you want it, you put to peace, you I even got out of it, you see all my wife, you help me. You say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In fact, you're all there, they're waiting for you to depart. In fact, the truth, they're waiting for you to depart, you're already in bed, and so I'm talking about who's going to get what? Tell them, put it in your life. We'll see you. If you turn it on me, spend one night with me when I die in the grave. You turn it on me. Why don't you all give it? Not in the grave. If I was to die all the night, I will be there the next day. You will put me on this. Just, just stay with me, Captain. Who would you like? If you bury him, if you bury him, if you just take if you have it, your loved one, they can't wait for you to be covered. If you do any practice, you can see the people in the world. And that is the right thing to do. I want to find out what I would say. Is that the same? Kalla, iza balagat istaraqiya wa qila man raqa wa zanna annahu al-firaq والتفت الساق بالساق إلى ربك يومئذ المساق ولا شيء إذا بلغت التراقي when the death reaches the color bone Allah, if you are in that final state you cannot make sober no more because you have moved from the seen world into the unseen world because the man before he or she dies they see their place in Jannah or in his heart, in the Lord. Kalla, when death reaches the collarbone, it reaches here, and then a man will say, in the language of, of the time, because he can't speak, he wishes to say, La ilaha illallah, he's a believer. He will say, Man rock, man rock from Rukia. Look here, who can help me? Who can cure me? Who can fix me? Wallahi la ilaha illahu illahu. They can not add one extra heart beat to your life. As an extra heart beat, they can not add it. Because Allah says, in the three weeks of the earth, comes the prophet Muhammad when he comes to heaven. When he comes to that place, he or this is it. Of a man in Medina, in Al Baqiya. Some of you may use Al Baqiya. You know, when I take people to Mecca, it's in Medina, where Umrah was held. So we take a special trip to Al Baqiya, which is the graveyard, which is the biggest graveyard in the whole world in Medina. And we take people there, and then all you see are graves, 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 graves. And then a grave with a stone and a grave with a of stone, two stones, just identifying male versus female. We tell people, look, you see all these graves? Maybe a king is buried here. Maybe a, uh, 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 is buried here. A president is buried here. An Amir, a prince is buried here. A leader is buried here. Anybody who dies in Medina gets to be buried for that doctor. Regardless of who you are, look, at the end, it's only these six meters long. This is your end. This is your future. 
that you and I are struggling for, like you say, when you see this face, oh, hey, it's my life. That is my life. I'm free. You don't want to do that. I'm free to do whatever I want. I'm old enough to have my own. So you know what? I can make my own decisions. At the end, is that green spot right there? What did you say to you? Nothing. Other than your family. It's a process. I was burying a man from the outside. The heavy vision of the family reported by Alvarez and the others. Things that have been moved up. Either a plan and a sofa or some sofa that we make sure that we're ready to have them. I'm sorry about the time. We did not. Now I'm going to put them in the middle of the the promotion in that sense, they are to be fairly ready to make them a part. When the man is about to die, he is just come, that piece is burying the pepper, the pepper, the cloth, that they wrap the body in, from Jannah, and they smell from Jannah, but the camel, which is a beautiful fiber from Jannah, and they come and they sit as far as the eye can see from the person who's back. What are they waiting for? Listen. And then the angel of the comes. And the angel of the comes. And then he tells, because you are the, I'm not going to talk about the number of the but then I'm going to talk about the number of 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 the what I want is not that I want to see this. I want to see this. You see this? You see this? You see this? So when you pour it like this, it goes very easy. You know, power to open it. You pour it out. The water comes out so strongly. But then you pour it one drop. So you try to you know, pour that drop. That drop comes out so slowly, so smoothly. So smoothly. The topic says, that's it. Now the soul of the believer is possible. But the people who come as a believer will pop up in a place of chicken. That's what it is. As soon as the soul comes out, the angel of death wants to grab it. The two angels are being reported. They are watching me. They grab it from him. But they are the one at the end of the world with the eye. You don't let him grab it. So they take it. They are watching from that serpent from Zenna. They take it up into the heavens. I was told that. I need to go to the first step. The first step is smooth. They accept the app. They lock. In the beginning, why are you going up? So the gatekeeper says, Who? Men? I will be a fool, a fool, a little fool. The Ahab is a son of the Kitan and the Kitan and the Kitan. We will say, So, the son of So. Who? Who is here? The angel, who is who are, Who is with you? We will say, Muhammad. Ibn, the son of Abdullah, Fatima, the son, the daughter of Mustafa, whatever, your name and the name of your father. You open up, and the, the soul goes with the angels up, and the angels who are in the first heaven, they will say, what a beautiful smell, what a beautiful smell, who is this person? They keep on saying, this is so and so, not nicknamed, they will not call you no, because you're not a hundred. They will call you Muhammad. They will call you names. Don't go and cut your name into your hands. And call me Ibi. No, you're not Ibi. You're Ibrahim. You're not Abu. You're not Abu. You're not Ibi. You're Abdullah. You're not Ash. Also, you may become Ash. You're Aisha. Don't take your name. Because the agency will say your name and the name of your father. And they will take you to the second. The same thing will happen to the third, to the fourth, to the fifth, to the sixth, to the seventh. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to the angels, اُكْتُبُوا كِتَابَ حَفْنِي فِي عِلْمِ الْمِينِ وَأَرْجِعُهُ إِلَى الْأَرْضِ فَمِنْهَا خَلَقْتُهُمْ وَمِنْهَا أُعِيدُهُمْ وَمِنْهَا أُكْتُبُهُمْ كَبَسَ الْقُطْرَةِ The angels Allah will say, write my name, my faith, my friend, my, my servant, he put in any moon, the high rank, I'm taking it back to earth. 
Allah Azza wa Jal would be true. Right there, he would say, Sadaq Abdi, Sadaq Abdi, my Ab has spoken the truth. You're the one who's a liar. You're the other one who say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Allah would say, Sadaq, he lied, who put in you? The believer will say, Allah would say, Sadaq Abdi, Sadaq Abdi, he spoke the truth. So he said, after we go, he's going to pray, he can see his death. So he's going to pray, he's going to pray, he's going to pray. He would say, Rabbi Akhi, he's going to pray, he's going to pray. Then he would say, oh, what, 30 hours, 30 hours, I want to go down to that club, you know? I don't belong here. I belong there. Let me go, let me go. And he's going to be saying, and the man would come to him. He would say, he would say, he would say, he would talk to him, and he would say, I tell you, he did it later, I tell you, he did it with what he did from the second time, and he gave him the reasons of them. And then the dead man would say, who are you? He said, who are you? He said, I don't know how many of you have to fight. And then, I have a little bit of fun. Tell him your wife should eat. What your wife should eat, and what I tell you, will put your feet, your actions, your problems, your fear, your concern, your body, your pain, your sadaqa, it will put in the form of a man who will accompany you to your country. And that is the end of our journey, and the beginning of a mother's journey. No, there is no more. At the beginning of what you call the mother, the mother, the mother, or the people. After the call, there is nothing more here. Thank you. 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 Because there are so many great ways, you know, that save our ways, and then that we can live. How should we interact? What are the things that can save us from this torment of the grave? The Prophet Muhammad said, "Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said, 'Allah 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 Subhanahu وأذكر بالجنة التي كنت تعبد به في ربنا إذ أمر. كيف؟ ربنا إذ الله هو الموت الله الله ربنا الله ثم تقوم and they remain together they remain strong in the beginning but only on Friday and Friday not in a few other days. They remain firm in the beginning. What will happen to them? In the end, they will come to the end of the day. Don't be scared. Don't be sad. Don't be scared. At the time of death, people are sick and scared. They even do wake up say, Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Scared for what? You're going to leave things behind you. You're going to leave your wealth. You're going to leave your family. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. And then you the black of what? The black of the country. Look at this place. Things that cause the punishment of the grave is talking about the way back. That's why I that can be talking behind you. This is something that causes you that, you know, not, not, uh, that's not the kind of thing that's great. Uh, uh, before in the Quran, it's making the Quran, not really the Quran, of the point of the great, uh, uh, really that of the point of the great, what you have to do that. But what are the things that save us from the point of the great, as I mentioned, it's the Quran, and reading the Quran, of course, Aspada, 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 especially, you know, especially speaking, you know, the voluntary prayers in speaking this month. Aspada, we say the rest of the point of the great, especially in the month of Rajat, preparation for, you know, uh, for Ramadan. In the month of Rajat, we want to start things to start with the Allah, and I will end with one thing here, the, what we call, or what the Prophet Muhammad calls it, and Mungiyah, and Mungiyah. He says there is one Torah that has 30 ayahs. One Torah that has 30 ayahs saves people from the dungeon of the grave, it comes and it proceeds on their behalf. What is this Torah? It's called Torah. It's called